What's up? It's your self-proclaimed cinema showgun here, and people keep asking me if I've seen Travis Scott's apology video. And yes, the answer is yes, of course, I saw that phony BS. And I'm not trying to be hard on the guy. If I felt that there was some sincerity in his apology, I would be honest and I would say so. But I watched it. I watched it multiple times. And nothing about it feels sincere to me. In fact, it felt phony. It felt awkward watching the video because you could just tell that it seemed like an act. It seemed more like someone trying to act like they were distraught about the situation instead of someone who was actually distraught about the situation. Now, I can't put myself in this man's shoes. I can't sit here and say that there's any perfect way to go about apologizing or a perfect way to say something. You know, I, I'm, I know nobody's perfect. I know there's no perfect way to go about this. But all I'm saying is when I watched this, it felt insincere to me. But before I give you any more of my thoughts, I want you guys to watch this for yourselves. I know some of y'all haven't seen it yet, and I don't want to cloud your judgment with my opinions. I want y'all to watch this apology, and I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about it. Without, Don't worry about what I have to say. I want y'all to tell me yourselves what y'all think about it. Let's watch. I just want to send out prayers to the to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans like, my fans really mean the world to me and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And anytime I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I just stop the show and, you know, help them get the help they need, you know? Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. Uh, we've been working closely. Uh, we've been working closely with everyone to just try to get to the bottom of this. The city of Houston, HPD, fire department. You know, everyone to, uh, you know, help us, help us figure this out. So if you, if you have any information, um, you know, please just contact your local authorities. Um, Everybody continue to just keep your prayers. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly just devastated. and I could never imagine anything like this just happening. And I'm gonna do everything I can to keep you guys updated and just keep you guys informed on what's going on. Um, I love you all. Yeah, so how did y'all feel about that? Did that seem sincere? It didn't seem sincere to me. It almost seemed like a forced apology. Like, you, did you ever get in trouble when you were a kid and like your mom or your dad made you apologize to someone and you know you didn't want to? Maybe you were mean to a kid on the playground or you slapped your cousin, something like that. And you had to go apologize and you would walk up and kind of like, didn't really want to make eye contact. You kind of brushing off your knees. Oh, sorry, um, sorry. You know, that's what it felt like. It kind of... Has someone ever owed you money and you kind of like ran into them and they awkwardly like had to tell you like, ah, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't got that $20 right now. Like, have you ever, you know, maybe someone owed you 20 bucks and you ran into them at the gas station and they were buying lottery tickets, even though they've been dodging your text messages, knowing they owe you $20. Ah, oh, man, well about that 20, uh, you see, I was trying to win on the lottery and then hopefully I would get 100, and then I'd break you off 40, and I'd take 60. You know, trust me, I was gonna text you. I was, uh, you know, uh, yeah. I was gonna text you back, I promise. That's what this seems like. It seems like one of those phony apologies once you get caught in some crap, or once you have to apologize because someone else is making you apologize. It just didn't seem right. It did not sit right with me. I'm gonna be honest. And like I said, I'm not trying to be overjudgmental or anything. I watched this multiple times. I'm no body language expert, but damn, this looked phony as hell, man. What? It awkwardly felt phony as hell, in my opinion. But like I said, you guys be the judge. You saw it for yourselves. What do you all think? Let me know down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. 
ring that notification bell, go to the description of this video. I'll have a link to my cash app if you want to support the channel. I will have a link to my other channel if you want to go subscribe over there. I just post some fir um, first-hand accounts of people who actually went to Astro World. And if you want to hear their stories, you can go over there and listen to them. And I will also have a link to my Twitter if you want to follow me on there as well. But as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.